Julie, Eric Davis, Hadesee Airstream, just north of Portsmouth or wherever it is you are. Anyway, uh, this is probably a sweeter deal than you got on your 16. Uh, then again, maybe not. Anyway, I wanted you to see the 19 foot flying cloud. Now we just got this in, meaning that we have not been able to, for example, take the wraps off of the stainless steel. Uh, it still's got Airstream's lettering on it because once again, just came in. 19 foot flying cloud. I'm gonna do a quick walk around, give you the difference, if you will, between the sport and the 19 footer, then we'll go inside quickly so I can uh, give you a dance around the interior. The biggest thing about, of course, you've got Lexan, but you've got stainless steel wraps. That is, uh, first of all, it's the cool factor. But above and beyond the cool factor, the, the stainless steel can be polished and buffed out. Of course, the aluminum cannot be. So, you, and by the way, these pivot out so that you have access to the actual trailer so you can wash, do all that fun stuff. You have a, you have a, um, a drop down um, tires, uh, spare tires, so that no uh, no UV rays can get to it. Meaning that you don't have any issue with it degrading over a period of time, and plus no one knows where it is, so you're not going to take it. Then you have two 12 volt deep cell batteries. Now those deep cell batteries, what that's cool about is that we have added an inverter system to this, which will keep you off the planet. If you want to do the whole um, if you want to do the whole uh, uh, off-grid, boondocking, whatever, easily accomplished with that. Twin 30-pound propane tanks. Uh, the Sport offers a couple of 20s. This is 60 pounds of propane. You're going to be able to, once again, stay off the grid for quite some time. The Barker system. The Barker system with the leveling and this is the same power motor that you have on a 31-foot Airstream. You want to level an Airstream very quickly, use the Barker system. Uh, absolutely the best. Then you have a quick disconnect, a quick disconnect uh, propane port. What's extremely cool about that is that you will get an extension where you can plug in a gas grill. You want a, an additional propane source, you can go into that. You want a space heater. Some of that stuff is very cool. Once again, the Lexan, let's not forget the fact that that acts as your secondary awning. Keeps the interior of the unit cool, not to mention, it looks good. Come on around. Locking potable water. I love the fact that you can lock the resource here. By the way, all of the lighting on the flying cloud is all LED lighting. You don't ever have to work these lights, and frankly, this trailer is going to be around a lot longer than you and I. Now, part of the cool factor I told you about, Julie, check this out. This is the wraparound awnings done by with the beautiful Sumbrella fabric. Uh, this is going to help as far as the performance of your refrigerator, anything that's done on the interior as far as appliances, uh, not to mention you have these wrapped all the way around. Uh, outdoor shower, hot and cold running water. I believe on your 13, I'm sorry, on your 13, uh, 16 foot Bambi, you pull the nozzle out through the shower right inside the door. Uh, that's where you're, that's where you're camping. This is on the back side, hot and cold running water. You have storage for your uh, sewer hose. Uh, once again, that's just all part of the, uh, the cool factor. You have the um, Dexter axle system, low silhouette. 70% of this unit's weight, Julie, is from the floor level down. You want to tow something sweet, tow a 19-foot flying cloud. Now, what else you have here that you don't have in the sport? You have the uh, your inlet water, which by the way, they have an internal regulator. That means if the PSI is heavy coming in, it will regulate the pressure coming into the trailer. Next thing you have black water flush. That acts as an umbrella spraying the inside of the black water tank, which by the way, Julie, two tanks, gray water tank, black water tank, three tanks, and fresh water tank, all um, 
all on the flying cloud by the way okay now 30 amp service great gimmick here it's lighted it has the it has a, a LED lamp meaning that when you plug in your shore power you will know that that resource is immediately ready for you uh, then what else I got I got the TV satellite hookup you are wired for satellite on this you have cable hookup so that's just all about the details how you want to plug in down the road uh, let there be light there is actually light for your gray water and black water uh, system for the septic system absolutely beautiful it's kind of common sense gray black I love it what can I say Julie let's check out the rest okay uh, actually the back end of the uh, 19 is cool for a couple of reasons it is still a Bambi why single axle you have of course once again we've got the secondary awning so you've got the awning wrap you've got storage this will give you all kinds of storage it's also by the way Julie LED lighted um, and it's a new mechanism and guess what Julie you got a trunk this is going to be where you're going to store all your particulars so there you're going to store uh, whether it be your wiring your anything you want to level with but the fact you have a trunk in the 19 footer is absolutely huge also LED lighting uh, every uh, flying cloud in this series is all LED lit inside and out. The trailer and the lighting are going to be around a lot longer than you and I, Julie. Come on around. Okay, the entree into the 19-footer. Uh, let's talk about quality. First of all, fully welded frame, but in the flying cloud we've added the adult protection and the kid and the dog protection. But this is what the quality is all about, right there. Here's the next case. You have interior frosted window, more light pouring into the platform, but Julie, eight hours to manufacture this. You don't have this window in your, in your um, sport model. You do in the flying cloud. And let's talk about quality. That's what this unit is all about. Eight hours just to manufacture a door in a flying cloud. All the buck riveting is what really is kind of the cool factor. So, guess what, Julie? Come on in. Let's check out the flying cloud. 